These guys are off to catch one of the world's most dangerous animals, a cobra, highly venomous. They're using a new life-saving app. It's told them a snake's been spotted in a local Gujarati workshop. Is it okay? To bag it and get it back in the wild, they first have to find it in a pile of stuff where every second thing looks like a scary snake. This is going to take time, so let's check back with them later. First, we're heading to a local hospital to see why this app is so important. Conservationist Jose Louis is going to guide us there with his Indian Snakes app. So now we are in Wapi and from here we have to go to uh, Valsad, which is about 25 kilometers away. It gives vital details to those bitten by snakes of nearby hospitals stocking the anti-venom that could keep them alive. We actually want to meet this doctor who's a specialist in snake bite in Dharampur. So this is a hospital. Now the hospital is there, the name is there, the phone number is there. We get there in snake bite rush hour. We've been here only a very, very short time. And in the matter of the last five minutes, three new patients have come in complaining of snake bites. To help identify the snake, patients often kill the animal that bit them. This is a highly venomous Russell's viper. But administering anti-venom carries its own health risks. Doctors hold off using it and instead do a battery of tests until they know it's not a dry bite and the patient is showing the effects of venom. He will be under observation for 48 hours. If any venomous symptom we see, then we will start anti-venom injection. Often there's no time for wait and see. A number of bite victims waste precious time visiting faith healers over hospitals. It's one of the reasons so many die from bites each year in India. Estimates say as many as 50 to 60,000. The Indian Snakes app aims to get people to hospital fast. The first moments, first minutes, first hour of a snake bite is very, very important. The major problem we face is that people don't go to the hospital first. They go to the local traditional healer whom they trust. And then when it is not possible for him, he will send the patient to the hospital. The first warning on the do's and don'ts list is don't go to a faith healer. The second, don't suck out the venom, whatever you've seen in the movies. There's also a field guide to ID venomous snakes. You want to see the snake in detail, so you, you can click on the picture, you can zoom in, you can see the... Pattern. You can also report a snake in your house and call a rescuer. You click on this, this is your current location, you will find who is nearest rescuer, and all you need to do is just call the rescuer. Remember these guys? Let's see how they're getting on. Actually, pretty well. They distinguished the snake from yards of cabling. Yeah, there is this. It then instinctively made a dash straight into their black bag. And with a little coaxing, pops safely inside. The Indian Snakes app is not just about saving lives and helping snake rescuers, but also conserving and learning about snakes, especially in their conflicts with people. We get a lot of data out of the country about the demography and epidemiology of snake bites. So it's, a, it's kind of getting knowledge as well as giving knowledge app. So you think snakes are kind of misunderstood? Completely. That's the one of the most misunderstood group of animals. So this app main purpose is to sensitize people of India to start working on snake bites and snake conservation and lead the coexistence with snakes life in future. Better education about how to avoid and treat snake bites could well transform our attitudes to one of the most feared and demonized animals on the planet.